Hi, I'm Kim Wilson. And I'm Natasha Marchevka. And this is Speechless. Speechless. Welcome to our behind the scenes take on real life and VO, where we share our stories, our resources, and our unsolicited opinions. Hey, and hey. Everyone, everyone seems to like our opinions, Kim. Have you noticed? I know. Yeah. Well, I guess we don't know the people that don't like them. I didn't. I thought you were going to. <laughs> where was I going with this? Anyway, <laughs> I'm proud of our opinions. Me too. <laughs> so today we have a coach named David Rosenthal. Uh, Kim and I bring different people to the table, different coaches to the table. I don't know the coaches she brings on. She doesn't know the coaches I bring on. And it's a lovely, loving situation because then we get to <laughs> learn who, who Kim loves and who I love. And so today we have David. He owns the Global Voice Acting Academy, but he's a voice talent uh, coach actor in his own right and has so much to give to the community. So take a listen. Is that Pepsi? Oh no, it's wine now. <laughs> yeah, so what if I have two more sessions after this? That'll be fine. <laughs> well, if they're just coaching, you'll be fine. So sh should we cheers? We should yes. cheers. 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 Are you hearing me okay? Yes, thank right. you. Let's share what we're drinking. I'll go first. Mm. <laughs> what I'm are you having? Hot chocolate with Bailey's. Ooh, Ooh nice. It, it feels a bit chilly up here in Santa Clarita. <laughs> oh, 69 with some wind. Any reason for it? <laughs> so, <laughs> I went outside to get a breath of fresh air and I was I was shivering. Mm -hmm. So I'm, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's well, so it's uh five o'clock here and it's um six degrees out, and I'm having a blood orange mojito with ice. There you go. Hello. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm just having a nice glass of sangria. Oh, very nice. Ooh, David, yeah. where are you located? La, uh, Santa Monica, Los Angeles. Yeah. Okay. So you're only the Mecca, yourself. the Mecca of voiceover. Even though um, uh, yeah, I was in San Francisco for 36 years, um, but I came down here and yeah, every, it's like, oh, I get it. <laughs> I get David, it. I, I used to live in Pasadena for 10 yeah. years and yeah. um, I moved out there from New York right after graduating from Sarah Lawrence College. Bing I know <laughs> we wanted to have this um, coaching series because as Natasha always explains, so many people co come and say, who should I coach with? I don't, you know, uh, who's right for me. And the only time they really get to see coaches is uh, at uh, conferences right. or online or maybe workshops, right. um, but you never get a real feel for their personalities, um, how they relate with people, is your vibe on with them? Well, and what they um, teach. <laughs> and how they teach it and what right. they teach. Right. So we thought that we would give everyone kind of an opportunity to kind of share what they do, how they do it, and um, how to get in touch. Wonderful. So without further ado, tell us a little bit about what you did before you started coaching. Oh, forget, forget all the coaching. What did you do before? Yeah, yes. Right. Take us back. Take us back. Okay. But I know, and it's a lot. What? So keep it oh, brief, David. I will. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a lot. Definitely. Um, David Rosenthal. The early years. Um, <laughs> so uh, what did I do before I started coaching? Um, indeed, I have worn so many different hats, it's ridiculous. Um, and I think all of that has helped me become the voiceover coach that I am today, as well as the voice actor that I have become today. Um, uh, many different hats, uh, but for 12 years, I was a financial advisor before I started voiceover. And he can help you. And as a matter of fact, um, shameless plug, uh, I am doing a webinar at GVAA in a, uh, later on this year, uh, specifically to talk to voiceover people about basic finances and what they should be thinking about as a business, but also in their personal life, taking care of short, medium, long-term goals, what are the right investments for those goals, et cetera. Just so they, uh, I used to do this for my on-camera friends, um, because their parents would always say, you know, like, 
oh, this was fun. You had a good time. Now go get a real job. Right. And and but if they could come back and say, well, you know, I do have a savings account. I have an IRA because uh, I'm thinking about myself out there. Um, my medium goals are being taken care of with this. So what's your complaint again, mom and dad? And, <laughs> right. you know, shut them right up. So, uh, no, I think it's really important. Uh, it's a it's a it's an essential part of the whole puzzle of creating a voiceover business is are you ready for this financially? Uh, what are your expectations? How are you going to take care of yourself and your family? Is this do these does this work? Does this plan that you have? And if you don't have a plan, you better have one. How does it work? Okay, that's but, amazing. Okay, so, so what else? Um, yeah, besides yeah. a whole career, other career. <laughs> yeah, besides a whole other career. So um, I have actually been a voice actor myself, and a uh, and still am uh, for thirty five years now. Can that's you amazing. It? I love it. Crazy, right? But. Um, uh, and so I started coaching, uh, and I was an on-camera actor for 20 years at the same time that I was doing voiceover. So I do have that that uh, knowledge and uh, life experience as well. Um, and for 20 years of that 35, I have been a coach. So there were a lot of ongoing things while I was coaching, but pre-coaching was um, for, as I said, for 12 years. Uh, a uh, financial advisor, and before that, maybe 15 other kinds of jobs. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So cool. So yeah, cool. I think so. So um, before we talk about GVA, GVAA and what exactly that is, we'll delve into that. How much Bailey's is in that? <laughs> Just <Sorry>. one, little, <laughs> one little cup. Um, what is your coaching process like? I know but tell everyone else as a one-on-one -on -one coach. Uh, my, my coaching is very much built around play. Um, Which I don't do, by the way. <laughs> oh, you do it so <laughs> well, honey. Oh, when I, th when I think of play, I think of Tosh. So there you <laughs> yeah. All right. See, do you love that laugh or do you? Okay. Anyway. Um, but no, it is, it's very much built around play. It's built around finding your true voice mm. and finding your true joy. Mm. Um, cool. I know from, I know that creating a voiceover business is very much a personal journey as well, yeah. because I mean, after all, you're using your voice for God's sake, which is the audio version of your soul. Oh, and cool. so cool putting, quote. <laughs> so putting your true voice out into the world can be a very vulnerable thing. Um, and it is important that if you are gonna be a great voice actor that you put your true real voice out into the world. And, you know, many people have had that beaten out of them, right? Uh, right. By, by someone or some life event or, you know, even 15 years in a thankless job, you know, and I, I'm not talking about well-paying or not, just thankless from a, so, you know, soul sucking uh, point of view. Yeah. Um, and I just feel that many people come to voiceover because they want to have that sense of creativeness and, and fun again in their yeah. life. And, you know, they want to find that rekindle that spirit, that energy that they met the world with all that, all those years ago as a child. So I kind of look at being a voiceover coach as also kind of being a, a guide and a mentor for going back and being able to consciously mm. get that sense of play again, because it was your birthright to begin with and to reclaim it consciously uh, in a way so that once you have it back, it becomes inviolable. Nobody can take it away again. It was originally taken away unconsciously. Someone came along and whack, you know, you're having a great time in the world. You're having a great time as a kid playing back and forth. And then all of a sudden it wasn't there. And, and I would say for everybody that that is a form of trauma that is not mm. recognized as trauma, that you should, you should just grow up and understand it and put it away. Mm -hmm. But I do feel that that the, one of the reasons we are um, scared to move back into that place is because it's so vulnerable and because yeah. we remember it as a traumatic time when we yeah. lost it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. 
Wow. So for yeah, so for me, when people regain and reclaim that birthright, they're off to the races. Hmm. And I have found that their ability to move into voiceover uh, as a full-fledged, full-bodied um, actor, uh, art voice artist, um, it is can only be complemented by that journey that they're taking on a personal level. Um, and so for me, it's always a joy to see people succeed in the sense that all of a sudden their eyes are wide open, their ability, their voice is full, their sense of creativity, their risk taking is suddenly all there. And it bleeds into their life and into their personal life and into their work. And they're coming back they go, oh my God, David, this is so cool. <laughs> You know, I can, yeah. I can tell you were an actor. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Like I can tell like reaching down deep, you, you know, you go deep, you reach down deep to find those places inside that are vulnerable and uh, you do, help, and you help them and you help other people unlock those places, which is pretty cool. And at being a financial advisor, I also help them as they're moving along on that journey going, this is a financial journey too. This is a business. You need to structure your business and you need to understand what are your avenues for auditioning going to be? What is all that? So the, the voiceover really cool. coaching is multi-layered. It is using this and this at the same time. That's so know, cool. So to the uninitiated, uh, I, I use the word GVAA, but, um, and sometimes I mix up the letters, but <laughs> um, <laughs> can you tell us what it is to introduce it to anyone who has not done the homework? Right. So GVAA stands for Global Voice Acting Academy. Uh, it was created uh, many years ago now, six years ago, I think. Yeah, right around six years ago, uh, initially by Christina Malizia and then myself joining in um, and it was originally created as, a, as an informational resource and school because we saw that there was a lot of hype and information coming into the voiceover industry. A lot of schools uh, who were you know, going out there and proselytizing and moving into almost every free seminar and webinar that they could across the country, telling everybody they met what a star they could be and how amazing. And they but they had to sign on the dotted line within 24 hours of the deal yeah. was off. And yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. And, and there was just so much pressure and people didn't know where to turn. And we said, you know what, this, and we love this industry. It has given our lives uh, so much meaning and income. And we would like to keep the integrity of this business going. We would like to keep uh, the business transparent and honest where there was so many so much not happening like that. And so uh, we originally created GBA to be that voice of integrity. And then through uh, David Toback's work along with Christina and myself, the rate guide happened, which was another uh, aspect of that integrity, trying to create a, uh, a platform where people had uh, an awareness of what they should be charging and how to negotiate, et cetera. Um, and then we decided, hey, you know, let's do a mem let's have a membership program where people can regularly take part in workouts and do all. And, and we have a huge 500 hour uh, video library where people can go and look at webinars and interviews with uh, agents and casting directors. What are they looking for? What are they not looking for? Uh, so that they had the best foundation to create a successful professional business while at the same time getting constant feedback, live feedback from coaches and casting directors, et cetera. Uh, so, and Global Voice Acting Academy has become that. I think it has become the voice, the, the voice of integrity in the voiceover world. Not to say that we're the only one. Sure. Um, right, but that is, and that is hopefully what will continue to be by offering the kind of webinars that we're offering not the ordinary run-of-the-mill webinars where we want to try and keep thinking about what do people need right now to make the best decisions, the best choices. And, and again, GVA, in the same way that I coach, because I'm the CEO, so it kind of has my flavor, is all about play. It's all about sure. playing 
to get to your goal, not working really hard. Right. <laughs> That was a good game voice. That was a good game voice. Okay. The devil just entered. Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Anyway, well, anyway. let's tell them how to. So, uh, David mentioned the GVAA rate guide. It's something among non-union voice actors that is very well known. Um, we use it to figure out how much to charge because every single job is different. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I try to share it with other people that, that don't know about it, whether they're new or they're not new. Mm -hmm. um, but the website that David has is globalvoiceacademy.com. Correct. Globalvoiceacademy.com. And so they can contact you there, correct? Yes. Yeah, so um, for anybody who wants a, a free consultation, and that's what I think another place where we excel um, is we're there to give you the nuts and bolts to help you decide whether this is something you want to do um, and what it would take in order to get there. Or maybe you are a regularly working actor that has questions about this aspect of the industry. Um, we, uh, and that's, that's another important, another, a little important piece that I want to um, be able to get across here is that I think it's really important when you're disseminating information that you are still actively working in the industry. Uh -huh. um, I think that there are a lot of fantastic coaches who have stopped working and are still coaching. But in terms of having that inside edge of the day, what people are work, uh, how people are working, what they're expecting, what they're not expecting, what are, what are the real life in the field situations that crop up? Um, I think that's really important. And I want everybody to know that every coach, every teacher um, at GVAA has a regularly working business. None of them mm. have stopped, so uh, good. including myself. So um, good. Yeah. I do want, also want to toot your horn and add to the fact that you guys do demos. Oh, yes, and thank you. you kind of mentioned this, but not quite fully. What I've learned about David and GVAA is the demos they do, he actually tests them with hirers. So after he's done all the work, he brings wow. them to hirers to say, do you think this is viable, you know, yes. in the industry? Yeah. That is so, awesome. Yeah, you know, we do so much with demos and I'm sure I'm giving away the, you know, the GVA method here, but that's okay. Because well, actually, people need more, to know the important people do need to know, and the, and actually, that as a casting director, that will help me, knowing that everybody else is getting the right information as to what should be on that demo or not. But um, so we go through a very strict process. Um, we won't make demos for anybody who we don't feel is a hundred percent ready to compete at the level where other people are booking. Um, we just won't That's do it. Uh, we good. feel it's a disservice, and um, we want. We want anybody that makes a demo to be able to go out there and use it as a fantastic uh, promotional tool, marketing tool, uh, which is what it is. It's not a vanity project. Right. Mm. Which is why I don't always agree with some of the awards that are, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I, we won't get into that right now. I need a sip. <laughs> um, so demos uh, need to be branded uh -huh. and they need to be branded not only in terms of your range and your style i'm talking commercial character everything narration um, they, narration definitely they need to be branded in terms of your range your style and your ability uh -huh. they need to be branded either uh, depending on what your personal brand is in terms of what you have to offer in terms of your voice your energy, your spirit, your vocal style, whether that demo is branded locally, regionally, or nationally. If you are a regional, if you have a slight accent and your brand is regional, there's no need to have a national commercial on there. We're, we're going to use your as a, as a very focused marketing tool towards where you're gonna get the most work. Um, right, so, so we good. have- Thank you. So, Smart and so, yeah. 
<laughs> so we think about branding in that way. And that means branding to uh, specific regional brands uh, that you're voicing. Uh, we listen to what's out there and in, in, if it's, you know, the South or the Southwest or, or the Northeast, um, there are brands that people are familiar with. So if, and if we're doing a Canadian demo, you know, getting Timmy's on there in some way is, oh, you know, <laughs> stuff like that, where we're, we're thinking for you and what you, where you're going to be focused and getting work. So that when people hear your demo, they immediately feel at home. Mm. That's going to be really, really important that they go, I get that. I know that. I've heard that for, I know that project, you mm. know? So, so that is an important part of branding, understanding how to order something and order understanding where to put stuff also is very important. Keep it moving. Um, also not belaboring the point. I do not believe in long demos. I know that as a, uh, I will, uh, a minute 15 is the max for a commercial for us. And a minute 30 is the max for uh, narration, commercial uh, uh, character and, um, and voice uh, a video game work. Um, and the reason for that is I know now personally as a casting director, but also with others uh, that I have talked to, they're making a, an opinion after 10, 15 seconds. Sure, right. And they don't, and they don't need a minute, a, a minute and a half to two minutes if they've made a decision that they like you, they will listen to you as long as you don't use up too much of their time. Now I know probably a weird thing to think we're talking 15 extra seconds, 30 extra seconds times a hundred. And right. you've just taken up another hour of somebody's time in the day. Right. So I know it doesn't seem like much, but honoring somebody's time at the same time as being unbelievably awesome at what you do will just put you up a notch all these little things that we're thinking about you know in terms of, of branding and what to do now with character work it's got to be your own characters these days you've got to have physicality on the demo too you cannot just be an emotional actor you, you mean like waving a sword like exertion oh, that, that's very oh, much yeah you need work, Kim. But otherwise, we will. <laughs> <laughs> That's my David sword does a whole thing. class on, <laughs> on physical exertions. Yeah, I have, right? yeah, I do. I have a workshop on uh, exert efforts and exertions and how to do them realistically and effectively. Because yeah. you'll notice, I don't know if people do get these auditions, but so many of the uh, character auditions that come through now have a little part at the bottom, which is just physical. Uh, get punched six times, you know, punch seven times, die by fire, die by gunfire, die slowly, have, you know, all oh that my stuff. God. Yeah. <laughs> die by so fire. Got, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, for some reason, that's a thing these days. I think it'll have, see its day and it'll go away. But right now, yes. David, um, thank you so, 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 sure. so much. You shared oh. uh, so many amazing takeaways. Oh my gosh. And I think we've educated our audience uh, with what GVAA is and who you are. And I, I really have been wanting to do this for a couple of years. Share your, your, share you. you. Thank you. <laughs> the shiny, yeah. the shiny thing that it light that is you. Thank you. So, That's awesome. That's yeah. really wonderful. I That's great. That. And I do want to like just a little spit of self-promotion really quick. Yeah. Um, I do do uh, private coaching for essential auditions. Um, that's one of my joys is being able to help somebody with an audition and they call back, they go, I got it, David! <laughs> um, that to me is one of the biggest joys that I can possibly have. Mm. Um, so, you know, I, I do work one-on-one -on, -one on that level as well, not just ongoing coaching, but for special auditions and yeah. Wow, you do it all. That's awesome. Thank you so keeps much. Keeps me going, you know. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Thank gosh. you, Tosh. So that was fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a guy! Right. I had I, no idea. Yeah, I love him, and I always want to um, shout from the rooftops uh, how great he is. His heart. I mean, we all, ah, everyone has a good heart, but right. David puts his heart in his community and in yeah. Vio and in generous school. Yeah, really generous, lovely guy, and has so much to offer. So, 
If you have any questions, please reach out to them. They're very, when I say them, I mean GVAA, but they give free consults to see if, you know, if you should participate. And I think that's really, really cool too. Yeah. Uh, we'll have all the information. We have all the information down below on our YouTube page and we have a website speechlessvo.com and you can join the party there where you can uh, join our mailing list which means you receive the takeaways from each show before the show airs in case you can't see the show yeah some and one so you week. don't so you can stop scribbling on your post-it notes right and just have it in true. one place yeah and then all the resources that we provide we pride ourselves on giving resource to the community resources to the community because we all need them Mm. and the recipes mm -hmm. so fuck great it. show oh yeah great <laughs> so show it. and fuck it fuck it <laughs> let's be awesome now today this moment because we got shit to do speechless